What tips do you have for people to learn how to cook without oil and how do you do it? Yeah. So when I first went plant-based, I mean, one of the first books I read was Eat to Live by Dr. Joel Furman. And and he's a big advocate of um, oil-free cooking and oil-free living, as is Dr. Michael Greger. And I know the Mastering Diabetes Protocol is um, oil-free. So the big thing about oil, at least for me, someone not living with diabetes is that it's massively calorie dense. Like I think per tablespoon, it's the most calorie dense food in the world. And I, as a culture, we put oil on absolutely everything. Like you're seeing cooking shows and they're just like drizzling gallons of it in, in your pan and whichever else. And, um, if you cut that out, think of the calories. Like I'd rather have a cookie. (laughs) (laughs) Um, but beyond that, so how did, that's why I started cooking without oil. And immediately I just found my food lighter. My food tasted better. And I'm like, well, why are we cooking with so much oil? So here are a few tips to start. I like to replace my oil with vegetable broth. You can literally saute um, vegetables just like you would in oil with vegetable broth, just maybe on a little bit of lower heat, um, add a little bit of that to a pan. You can even use water. I promise you, you can even uh, get a char on your vegetables with, uh, vegetable broth or water rather than oil. In baking, I like to replace oil with um, fruit that has like a high moisture content. So you could use applesauce or bananas in place of oil in your baking and it works like a charm. If you're uh, putting something in the oven, like a sheet pan, I've mentioned a couple of times, you can use parchment paper or even silicone baking mats and nothing will stick on those. So Honestly, oil-free cooking is so easy. Like, uh, I think people are intimidated by it because um, it's been driven that we need to start every meal with oil. But you put uh, chopped onions in a pan, they'll start sweating and um, lubricate the pan themselves. Like, you really don't need to um, start every meal with oil. And now that I'm like, four or five years into this lifestyle, I'll use oil when something really demands of it. Like um, if I'm making like the viral TikTok pasta chips, like you need oil for those to crisp up. But I think there's a lot of value in learning how to cook without it. And you'll soon see you don't need nearly as much as you thought you did. There's a lot of value and a lot of health benefits. And I always tell people like, look, if you're, you're concerned about it, like step one is to just follow recipes from people like you from our website and you will learn, like you just follow the recipe. They'll tell you exactly what to do, how much vegetable broth to add, how much water to add, how to add it. Like, it's not that hard. Give it a shot and see how it it benefits you. And like you said, like in our culture, we're just putting oil everywhere and our culture is obese at at large. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what's happening here. So um, I'm I'm glad that you, you provide a lot of options. And again, like, People have to go to your page. They have to look and like see this with their own eyes, like the color, the beauty. And the other thing I like about the stuff that you make is, you know, you see the thumbnail picture and you're like, wow, like that looks so ridiculously incredible. Like there's no way I can make it look that good. There's no way. But then you watch how you do it. And you're like, you know what? I could probably do that too. Like it's pretty <laughs> realistic, you know, like you're showing us how to do it. And we eat with our eyes in a lot of ways and, and making your food look beautiful and vibrant and colorful. That's part of this game, I believe. 